Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the uh, last tutorial of 2023 from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create these mesmerizing render in Enscape very simple and easy with some few tips and tricks. So watch this video till the end and comment your opinion about Enscape 3.5.6, new update of the Enscape in 2023. So I'm going to close this render in here and this is the preview of my real time rendering environment in the Enscape. And you can see in the outside we have some simple HDRI and simple objects in here. So I'm going to start my job with pressing F on my keyboard and switch to my favorite camera 2024 Neo. So this is my camera shot in here. I'm going to minimize it in this place. Click on the uh, SketchUp file in here and now time for doing some jobs. First of all, I'm going to start my job with creating these Christmas tree a little bit lighter. So I need to change some materials and effects. So for this reason, I'm going to click on the uh, paint bucket in SketchUp, click on the uh, Enscape material editor. And now we have only few steps to the real time rendering and realistic render. First of all, I'm going to click on the sample paint and pick up this stars color in here and convert it to the self illuminate light in here. Now you can see what's really happening in your job and screen and it's really wonderful. I can click on the color advance and select these code in here, press Ctrl C and now I can paste it in my luminous color in the advance, Ctrl V and press enter. Takes a little bit of time, press enter. So you can manage your lighting power. For example, I prefer to increase it a little bit, some number about 644 candela. After that, another texture we want to select is these orange bulbs in here. So I'm going to click on it another time. Material number 23. I can change it to the self illuminate again and it's work like that. Next step is the next bulb in here, white bulb. I'm going to select it. Arc model 88. So I can change the type of it from generic to the uh, self illuminate and it will happen in your environment very simple and easy you can click on the color and change it from the standards and use some creamy color like the wheat color you can click on the color advanced mode ctrl c these rgb code and paste it in your albedo advanced ctrl v and enter after that, you can manage the light power very simple and easy with moving these arrows in here with some number about 500 candela. Next material is the small bulbs. So I'm going to click on the sample paint in here and pick up one of these small lights in here like that. So in the Enscape material editor, another time to the self illuminate light and I need some a little bit some type of crimson light color something like that and I can change the luminance intensity to some number about 1600 next step is the next material so I hope this is the last material in here I can pick up these blue bulbs in here it take a little bit time like that I don't know why sometimes it can't select it. So Metallica foil blue. So I can click on the generic self illuminate. Now it's much better. So I can reduce the uh, power. Click on the uh, RGB code, Ctrl C and Ctrl V for the last time in here. And everything is good. Next material related to the uh, interior design. So I'm gonna click on the sample paint and we have some lamps in here so I can move in the uh, Enscape in this place this is my bed's lamp so I'm going to select these bulb in here click on the Enscape material editor and change it to the self illuminate like that but it's a little bit too high for it so I prefer to reduce it to the 1600 or maybe 1300 the main color is something about creamy 
and I can hold this color for all of my jobs so I can paste it in the uh, color texture map and press enter after that we need another self illuminate light on these walls because we need some hidden lights for the back side of the bed so I'm gonna click on the sample paint in the SketchUp pick this line texture in here barely wood in this place change it to the self illuminate and now it's much better so as you can see we create this scene very simple and easy only in a few steps and I can manage the light source and light power of it very simple and easy so I prefer to change the main color of the light and reduce the power of it to some number about 1800 candela everything is good everything is nice so I'm gonna close it in here close the uh, endscape in here close it in here now we are in the SketchUp so I'm gonna press Ctrl S now time for the lighting first of all I'm gonna start my job with the Enscape objects so I'm gonna click on the Enscape objects the spotlight I need some spotlight in this direction click on the load IS profile I need some type of IS profile I think about for example maybe a little bit high value so I prefer to use 16.IS if you don't have these IS profiles you can download it from the internet so I'm gonna click on it press open and increase the intensity to some type of number about maybe 400 I'm gonna click on the burly wood in here and add this texture to these lights in here now I can click on this origin point and move it to some place like that so another copy on the blue axis but this time I need to upper light it so I'm gonna click on the flip option flip it and fix it in some origin point like this something like that and now our job is really easy so I only want to take some copies of this light on my roof and sailing so I'm gonna select it click on the copy option and take some copies on the roof click on the uh, I think flip flip it in here and now time for taking some multiple copies one meter for each side and I think four times is enough for my job so I don't need some light in here because my tree lighted up this area much better than the other lights I only need to copy these lightings so copy it on the uh, green axis in some direction about 1.6 and I think two times is enough for me I will switch to my camera in here and I'm gonna click on the start Enscape so it takes a little bit of time and after that our environment will be generated for us much faster and easier than the other times so I will wait for it 99% and I think it's over I'm gonna maximize the Enscape in here if this content is useful for you till now please like and subscribe our YouTube channel so I'm gonna turn on the safe frame click on the visual setting and reduce the field of view to some number about maybe 53 degree in here so exposure can be increased to some number about 54 and I'm going to turn on the depth of field turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point you can create these type of bouquets in escape very simple and easy but I prefer to change it manually I want to focus on these star in here and some areas like that so 4.66 is good number and the value of depth of field is some number about 11 percent so I need a little bit outline not too much so I prefer to use three person for it in the image bar I will use auto contrast to fix all of my lightings and saturation can be increased to some number about 113 percent I need some warm render super warm render so some value about 5600 Kelvin is normal for it motion blur is zero but lens frame and bloom is really important 
If you want to remark these lights in your render much more than the other times, you can increase the bloom option to add some light effects in these areas, like that. If I change it to the 100, you can see what's really happening in your screen, and it's not realistic, it's artificial. So, try to hold it in some number about 44, for example, or maybe 27. And the lens flare can be decreased to some number about 29 because we need some sharp render. Wignate can be increased a little bit, not too much, some number about 58. And chromatic aberration is 0. In the atmosphere bar, some brightness is 0, night sky is 0, and shadow sharpness is not really important. But artificial light brightness can help you to manage your environment brightness much better with the spotlights. So, I prefer to increase the artificial light brightness a little bit, and you can see what's really happening in your job. 116% is good, and ambient brightness is about 69%. Everything is done for me. I will click on the output, switch it to the Ultra HD rendering. In the main bar, I need some high quality render. And now time for the uh, rendering. Happy New Year to all of your uh, family and friends. I hope best wishes for you in the new year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. If this content is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share it with your dear friends. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, see you at the next tutorials, SketchUp Arc Studio, goodbye.